Try tickling your training partners. Watch what happens. <laughs> So welcome back. We're going to show a dirty boxing combination today. It's really just sort of a mix of a few different elements from the MKG method, uh, focusing primarily on Ponatukin and maybe a little bit of JKD along the way. Just a good straightforward combative self-defense oriented kind of fight heavy oriented combination. We'll be looking at intercepting an incoming shot. We'll be looking at suppressing or trapping uh, an incoming or a retracting shot. Transitioning from long to short range tools, a little bit of evasion and some heavy follow up along the way. So first things first, he's going to put that right pad up here like this so that he can preset this to split his jab when he fires the left pad right down the middle. We post that pad up, that's my cue, and I wait and I split. So for my split, I'm getting my head offline, maybe lateral, maybe down diagonal a little bit, and I'm going to jab at the same time. I parry and hit simultaneously. He presets this pad, split, parry from the side, let this one come down. This could be here, could be here, any shape you like. Second part is he retracts, and I fire cross, hook or slap, and cross. Now, if you're a more advanced practitioner, you have some experience with Ponitugan, a lot of times we go from split to gunting and hit again. So you're training yourself to really activate a lot of quick twitch, a lot of finesse and coordination with that lead hand. So it becomes kind of two systems working, one for each hand. And in this way, he gets one on extension and one on retraction of his jab. I hit him while he's going out and while he's pulling that hand back. One and two. Again, one and two. That's one. Maybe I hit this in flight. That's two. Then cross, hook, and cross. Okay, so next piece we're gonna add in some elbows and we're gonna roll directly from the cross into the elbow without any gaps. So instead of training ourselves to punch and then elbow, we're gonna punch to elbow like that. And in the process, we'll have to shuffle our feet in. Typically, you're gonna have this punch as a longer range tool than your elbow, right? So that means that in flight, you have to get used to stepping while you're hitting. It's a good lesson to coordinate hands and feet. So we've got split, trap and back in. Cross hook, cross to down elbow. That's a down diagonal with my rear side. Snap elbow, that's horizontal with the lead. And down one more time, diagonal. Just like that angle one you would do with the stick, but down with that elbow. Split, trap and back in, cross hook, cross to elbow, elbow, elbow. Split, trap and back in, cross hook, cross elbow, elbow. Okay, so then for the last piece, he's gonna throw another shot and I'm gonna bob and weave underneath it, right? So he's throwing the jab, he's not gonna throw the left hook. From the top, we split his jab. Maybe we gunting, either way we trap him backhand. Cross, hook, cross to elbow, elbow, elbow. No one watch, he throws that hook, see the bob and weave underneath, see the shoulder connect. This shoulder connection to the ribs is a hell of a shot if it lands just right. Even if you have a lot of padding in your midsection, you might find that your opponent tends to not have much just beneath the arm. So it's a really great spot to hit. You can try like this. When they get uncomfortable or it hurts a little bit, that's a cue like, oh yeah, if it tickles, it's a good place to actually really bury a shot. Let's try tickling your training partners. Watch what happens. <laughs> one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. We bob and weave and bump. Okay, now that we've made this space, we're gonna tee off with our straight blast. Split, trap and backhand, cross hook, cross to elbow, 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 bob and weave, bump, and one, two, three, four, five, like that. Your blast could be a five count, four count, six count, three count, 20 count, does it matter, right? Just bury them in the pads. Split, trap and backhand, cross hook, cross to elbow, 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 bob and weave, and bump, blast. Two, back, 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 one, two, three, and so that's our combination for this week. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, take your time. There's a lot of moving parts here, so you should give yourself the option and the opportunity to subtract elements while you're learning. Plug them back in. I think keep it simple as you start off and start to incorporate all these moving parts as you get more comfortable with it. You'll find yourself cruising in no time. Thank you, Colin, for helping out. I appreciate it. 
Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to click subscribe and like and follow and all those good things. And we'll see you on the map.